So welcome back and today we have another of this Quanum Elite video transmitters here. This looks to be almost the same as the one we reviewed last time. It's again a 200 milliwatt uh, video uh, uh, transmitter. I was just a bit confused about this age here. Well, I will find out. So it's a 200 milliwatt video transmitter race band included 40 channel 5.8 gigahertz and while well, actually the only difference which we uh, can see compared to the one which we reviewed last time is that the antenna board is at the front here. So other than that it looks to be quite the same and I also fully expected the same hardware is in there. So we will probably get quite oh, interesting, well quite similar measurements. Well at least that's what I assume. We will see. It also has the microphone integrated. I will just quickly go through this manual again because it's actually the same as the one which we reviewed last time. Again, 7 to 20 volts input, wide input voltage, 5 volts out for your camera. So you should be aware of that. So let's go straight to measuring its weight. Let's see if it's the same as last time. I think it was 12.8 grams, right? Oh, interesting. That's 0 0.4 grams uh, heavier. 13.2 grams for this little guy. Hmm, strange. Well, we'll see. Let's take a look at the length of it. I think this should be the same. So in length, we have here a length of 32.5 millimeters. A width of 30... There we are. 34.4 millimeters. The thickness at its thickest point is 9.4 millimeters. The length here, including this adapter, is around 40 millimeters. The mounting holes here, I will measure it on their inner side. And we have here measured on the inner side, you can see it here. On the inner side, we have 28. Dot three millimeters. If I go out to the outer side, we are at around 31.7 millimeters, which should give you a good idea for mounting this. So as usual, we have now plugged this in 3S 1400 milliampere sliper here. We will uh, let this one heat up for around 10 minutes and then we will be back for some temperature measurements. And 10 minutes later, we are back and ready to check if this will also be around 50 degrees like the other one I would suppose so let's see and yes we are here at 52 degrees as you can see 51 degrees and well as I said last time apparently this whole aluminium case is acting 55 degrees is acting as a as a heat sink which is a great thing because while well, I have quite a few video transmitters uh, with 200 milliwatts and if this is anything like the previous one, it will not be 200 milliwatts, but actually 400 and more milliwatts. And I have several video transmitters in this size, which get much hotter than this. So this aluminum casing is actually a really, really nice and smart idea. So really nice. Yeah, and again, around 50, 55 degrees. Next step will, of course, be the RF power measurement. So let's check this out. As I said, I don't think we will see anything radically different to the other one here. But well, let's just confirm that this is indeed the, 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 the same hardware inside. We will start as usual with the first band, which is in this case. Well, just put it here so I can see it better. The band F. Yeah. So we will start with the band F channel one and we can already see yeah this seems to be similar than the than the last one uh channel one band f 340 milliwatts channel two 328 milliwatts channel three is at 200 305 milliwatts channel four is at 286 milliwatts channel five 
is at 268 mW. Channel 6 is at 259 mW. Channel 7 is at 251 mW. And uh, Channel 8 is at 243 mW. We will now uh, change to the band E, to the next band. Channel 1 of band E is at 380 milliwatts. You can already see this is the same hardware. Channel 2 is at 410 milliwatts. Channel 3 is at 441 milliwatts. Channel 4, 458 milliwatts. Channel 5, 243 milliwatts. We even have this, this step down again. Step down again, <laughs> starting from channel 5. It's the same as the other one. Channel 6, 227 milliwatts. Channel 8, 213 milliwatts. And we are switching now. Ah, sorry, channel 7 was that. Channel 8 is at 193 milliwatts. So let's change to the band A. Channel 1 of band A, 243 milliwatts. Channel 2, 251. Channel 3, 259. Channel 4, 277. Channel 5, 286. Channel 6, 305. Channel 7 is at 328. And channel 8 is at 353, 340. Just got down a bit, probably due to its temperature. So, again, next band is the band R. The pirate band, band R. Well, okay. Uh, channel 1 of band R, 427. Channel 2, 380. Channel 3. 340. Channel 4, 296. Channel 5, 268. Channel 6, 251. Channel 7, 235. And Channel 8 of the band R, 207, 206 milliwatts. So let's go to the last band, which is the band B. Channel 1 of band P, 328. Channel 2, 316. Channel 3, 296. Channel 4, 277. Channel 5, 268. Channel 6, 259. Channel 7, 243. And channel 8. Of the last band, 235 milliwatts. So, as with the last one of these, this gives out much more power, often twice than the specified power, which is actually a nice thing because that means now that you know this, you can actually get a 400 milliwatts video transmitter for the price of a 200. Uh, 400 milliwatts video transmitter for the price of a 200 milliwatts transmitter. And as another nice thing, depending on the channel, you can yourself decide well with how much power you would like to work, depending on well where and how you would want to fly with this. Well, it's a nice little video transmitter. I really like the aluminium casing, which is also acting as a heatsink. Very nice idea. Included MIG, yeah, why not? The push button control works well. So maybe this is something for you. Links are in the video description. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking forward to see you next time.